What's up? Hello, everybody, and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors. Just making sure I have audio here, and we're going to get this show on the road. I do have audio. All right. Welcome, 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 friends. Let me call out a few folks here. Jeremy's tournament catch. Oh, Jeremy. Appreciate your support, brother. Buck Williams. Another great supporter and my friend, Polar Bear the Chad. And there's my buddy, Lisa Elliott, who has her hands full with my other friend, Aaron Elliott. Chris Everett. Mike's Fishing Home. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. Mike's always a big supporter of mine. Steve Locke. Okay. We're going to play the new fishing game today. Now, this is a early release. Uh, it just come out not too long ago. It does have a few minor glitches. And I will point those out there in the screen. But Expansive Worlds is working to clear up those fixes or glitches, rather, and get them fixed. So, everybody's got a different opinion of it. I'm kind of enjoying it. But I will tell you that I have not played it for four days. I have been on the duck hunting grind. And uh, I've been spending four or five hours a day hunting ducks. Hot and heavy. Because I want to do a revenge on the duck stream. And I am improving. I'm shooting quite a few off the fly now. So, got a new shotgun, got a new uh, ammunition, and got a new uh, lease on how far to lead these birds. And I'm having success now. Thank goodness. Uh, one thing you'll learn about old Troy is if I uh, can't do something, uh, I'm sure going to work at it to get better at it. That's for sure. Uh and I'm making progress. All right, so what's going on, Brian B? Also, I'll make one more announcement, Ben Brian here. I got NFL Red Zone. I've never had it before. I'm going to try it out. Signed up for it today. I am in the Fantasy Football League with Brian and Aaron. So I need to keep up with what's going on so I can have a good showing. All right, so let's get into this today. We're going to fish for lake trout. Uh, <clears throat> We're going to be using spoons, crankbaits, and uh, depending on how the fish cooperate, we might even do a little bass fishing. So let's, let's start out by talking about the reserve, Golden Ridge Reserve. That is the one reserve that was released, there will be more reserves uh, as we go on, and it has 12 species of fish. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's talk about the map. Today's special is everything. Everything here is so, so special, and you should buy it all. Now, that girl is a she is the tackle lady, and she talks too much. I've got to figure out how to get her off of there. Okay. Uh, Lisa Elliott says, rumor has it somebody cheated in the draft. Now, let me tell you all about that draft. When I logged on to the draft, I was the last if one If you spent any time with Oprah, you've heard him talk about his son. And, one uh, in, one out. That's the way it When I logged on for draft at 6.30 p.m., right everybody the was bargains. there. And I had the first pick. <laughs> and I, I don't know how that happened, but I ended up with the first pick. So I did get the pick first. And uh, I got a pretty good team. Because when you pick first in the draft, in the second round you get the last pick. Uh, you get a, two picks, basically. Uh, the way it falls in a row. Not not two picks in the same round, but the way the draft falls. So they all give me a fit about that because I, I I cheated. You know how that goes. So 
So, I got the quarterback I wanted to right off the bat. <laughs> well, that, you know what? At least that makes my day to know that, that I that I got him. I also got to talk to him on the phone a little bit after it was all over with, and I did get an air full from him. But I was glad to get the first pick because I had had in mind already what I was going to do for quarterback, and I got the guy. So I'm happy with my pick. And that was Buffalo Bills' Josh Allen is who I picked. All right, this is the boat. We're going we're gonna to rent a boat. And there's the boat. Now, uh, as you can see, there's a little, every once in a while you see a little water glistening in the bottom of the boat. That is a glitch they're working on. But uh, let's look at the map before we get out on this lake. Uh, I want to show y'all the map and the gear real quick. Because this is a new game. This map. There it is. It's got all these waterways. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm glad it. I'm glad it shook you, but that makes me feel good about it. All right. Uh, there's a lot of small waterways, and all of them's kind of different. And they're going to backfill these with fish, uh, other than what they have now. Now. This is basically where we're going to fish right here today. This is called Bear Lake. It's pretty big. And it does run up in the river, and I have been all up in these rivers. And there are multiplayers on this game. Here's a player right here. So you can multiply. And uh, there's a player right there. But all these little waterways can be fished. I mean, that's a small waterway. Very nice map, a lot of ground to cover. I run all of this map and unlocked all the white icons, uh, which took me almost <laughs> eight hours to do. I stopped fish a little bit. Okay, let's talk about what's in the backpack. What are we going to use today? Giving y'all a little extended look, means it's a new game. This is the rod we're going to be using today. The green rod there. Uh, called the Advocate, and I got the Champion uh, reel on it. There's the rod. There's the Champion reel. And I've got a uh, 22-pound line on this. Uh, and a spoon, and that's what we're going to start out with. They got other setups. I own a few rods. This is actually the first rod I brought. You have to have the right equipment for the right fish or you won't land them. So let's jump in the boat. You just basically do that by stepping off into the boat. And we're going to crank her up and get on down there and get the fishing. So I'm going to put a waypoint down of where I want to go. And basically I want to go right here. There's already a waypoint there. So I'm going to actually move that waypoint up here just a little bit. All right, let's look at the fish before we get y'all. I'll show y'all the pictures of the fish. I think they did a good job. So there's the uh, largemouth bass. Very realistic rendition. And, of course, the smallmouth, which is a favorite of mine to catch. Although we don't have many smallmouth in these Texas lakes. That's probably my favorite virtual fish to catch. And then we have the yellow perch. Looks like a yellow perch. The pike, which is one of my favorites. The lake trout is what we're going to go after today. Hello, Dale. How are you? And they get big, so... My best is 30 pounds. The rainbow trout and the mountain whitefish. All right, let's get on down to let's get on down the water here. A 
we're going to head over this waypoint. Now I will move around quite a bit. And basically I'm going to tell you we're at the lake trout and that means we're going to fish in waters uh, 20 to uh, 40 uh, to 50 foot. So we're going to start out up here in the general area of this lake point. I've had some success right here. That's what we're going to start the show out today. Now, just because I said we're going to fish in 20 foot of water doesn't mean I won't make some shorter casts. Because I will. This is 32 foot right here. So there ought to be a few, maybe a lake trout right here. I'm going to let that spoon sink. And it sinks pretty fast. Yes, they are. They are very hard fighters. I have caught some here in Texas, even though they're minimal. All right, so I'm gonna start out here. <clears throat> so, you really gotta watch your equipment, your drag and etc. on this. So we're gonna start out on real speed, about the two setting. The way I'm going to work this is I'm going to let that, I'm going to, I'm going to wind that lure a little bit, but when it gets above uh, 25 foot, I'm going to let it fall back. When we get a strike, you will see, you'll hear a ding, and a strike indicator will come up on the screen. Okay, we're hooked up. Now that fish was at 21 foot. I just happened to be looking at the meter. I don't think it's very big. Well, maybe it is. He's running now. Oh yeah, this is going to be a good one, folks. This is a big boy. i got to be careful not to break him off. The bottom... Quarter tells you the line tissue that's in red right now. And I'm just kind of pumping and reeling. Pretty much like you would on a big fish. I'm gaining ground on him now. I had to turn the drag up to 50% because he was taking out too much line. Fish go beyond 75 feet on this rig. Uh, you run out of line, they will break off. This may be a laker. It's either a laker or a pike. There's our fish. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a big lake trout. That's the way to start a stream. 20 pounds. Let's get a better look at him. That's a pretty good size fish. See my hunter call of the wild shirt. Good to see you, Jeremy. All right, and he goes back. So there's fish number one. Papa Smurf, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you. All right, I'm going to get the drag back down there. Now, some days I catch them better on the spoon, and some days I use crankbait. I just have to see what they want. 
where it hooked up again. That didn't take long, did it? It's not very big. He jumped up out of the water. A small pike. And you will mix in a lot of these small pikes. Just the 186. And we, of course, we got a fan cast around. Hello, Vanessa. Welcome in. Good to see you. All right. Let's get back on the cast here and see what we do. And you notice this water right here, it's about the same depth as the other water. So we're in that 30 to 20 to 30 gap that I want to be in. Uh, I'm sure that most of you have heard, but I'll make an announcement. Uh, I want to say a little, a little prayer for J. Fox Hunter. May God bless J. Fox. He's ill, and I understand that he's on uh, hospice care now. So, J. Fox has been a great member uh, to everyone, and in a lot of people's chats. He will be uh, always remembered. Very nice man. All right, there's a small laker. All right, 31 foot. So we're still in that, we're still in that good spot. We want to be in. Yes, most definitely, Chris. Him and his wife as well. Big prayers to those people. Now I have to reposition the boat sometimes. I think that spoon's gonna work today, folks. Talk about the boat position after I land this fish. Ooh, that's another small one. Right species, just wrong size. Now, I don't know if this is a glitch or if they intended for me to wait. If I cast this way towards the front of the boat and the fish makes a run this way, into the boat it snaps the line pretty much immediately so I don't really know if that's a glitch or they intended for it to be that way so boat position is good if you're watching this video pick start playing this game uh, cast off the side of your boat either side is fine and even the back but they will get tangled up in the motor if that hasn't happened to me yet I know it happens to other some of the other gamers. But stay away from making casts like this. If you want to cast that way, just reposition your boat. Uh, so let's talk about... Uh, no. I hear that will be added. But there's going to be a lot of things added to this that was that's not included right now. Uh, there are channel catfish in this game. But right now, the only way you can fish for them is float fishing. Uh, I'm sure we're going to have uh, bottom fishing. And probably trolling. Especially with the lake trout. Lake trout are a big trolling fish. So. So, also, if you're watching a video and you're trying to learn how to play this, uh, let, me, let me give you a little piece of advice. Do your missions first. Uh, go, go unlock the map first. Uh, go all to your areas, unlock the map, open the map up, and uh, do your missions. 
That spoon has got them going today. Because you earn money for your mission. And when you first start this thing, you're going to start out with a, uh, a rod the size of a dock demon, a, a three-foot rod and a small reel, and two-pound line. And you're going to be limited on what you can fish for. And if you do get one of these big fish on, you're just not going to get him in. Uh, So you need to make the money first, and then you need to do a little research from other gamers about which pole to buy, which reel to buy, and which line to buy. This is not the biggest setup I have. I have the biggest setup in the game. Uh, this is the second biggest setup. So do your missions first. Uh, fish for what you can fish for within reason of your tackle. Earn your money and spend your money wisely. Buy your rods and reels first, and then worry about buying a bunch of lures. But you can't do anything with a lot of the lures until you have the right equipment. caught what five fish right here but only one big laker so we're gonna cast on the other side towards the deeper water and then we're gonna move uh, so I'm just now scratching the surface of this game uh, I've been fishing this lake a lot that was a good one good night right, right there the boat all right, there's a black bass. A right, four eight six. That's pretty nice looking bass. He hit that right at the boat. Nice filler. All right, big boy. Now we're gonna make a couple of cast off the back of the boat and off the side of the boat. So there's a lot of different waterways, different types of water. They even have a couple of small things that are small waterways that are crystal clear. You pretty much see the fish down in the water. Uh, there's a lot of nice trout up there. I haven't fished that yet. Uh, even though I do have big enough equipment to do it. And I'm talking to y'all and up my lure sink. So let's correct that. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of, lot of trout fishing and clear water. And that ought to be fun because you go up there kind of and what some of the other people that I watch at New Gaming, uh, they've been sight fishing uh, for these fish. Sight fishing is stuff that I have never done in real life. It's 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 an art, you know, to go along there and sight fish for a big fish and then work on getting that fish to bite. Uh, sight fishing, and there are some good tournament bass fishermen that know how to sight fish and know what they're looking for and where to look. So it ought to be an experience. We hooked up, and he's full of drags. I'm going to tighten him down a little bit here. Slow him down just a little bit. Okay, we got him slowed down now. Let's play him out. There's a 12-pound pipe. Now that spoon's been catching him.
I've been running around all week long, like I said, hunting at ducks. And uh, I got about uh, four uh, blinds set up with decoys. The decoys cost about $4,000 for 10 in game money, uh, which is quite expensive. So, the maximum effect is 20 decoys per species. So, some of those places I got three or four different species of duck come over. Well, that's 60, 80 decoys. So, you look at it, $16,000 in decoys. Uh, and then the, the blinds are 8,000. I like the lay downs, which are 16,000, of course. So I got quite a bit of money invested in each spot in game money. And then you have to, uh, you know, find these spots, set them up. I got lucky and found four good spots right off the bat. I put a spot yesterday out, tried it. It's a little too close to one of my other good spots. I didn't want to mess that up, so I pulled it, and I'm going to be looking for a spot today. Uh, when you get, when you're shooting the ducks, you're only getting three or four hundred dollars a duck. Now there is uh, the golden eye, which is kind of like the prize, thousand dollars a duck. That's when you want to shoot. But I'm trying to get set up where I can hop from blind to blind. Wear one spot out, move on, shoot something else somewhere else, wait for the hunting pressure to wear off, and go back. And I'm shooting quite a few on the fly. Uh, I do have times where I miss several times in a row. But then I may come back and kill two or three in a row. I've killed two uh, and one flyover I did double up a couple times. So I'm getting better at it. This water here is deep. It's 54 feet on this side. Now it's starting to get dark. And uh, there's no way to change the time in this game like it is called, called the wild, the hunting game. So they're, that's one of the things I think they're going to try to fix where you can roll the time back. Some people don't like to night fish in the game. Some people prefer it. Uh, I don't really care as long as they bite. I could care less. This, this is an average size fish. It's nothing great. Now it seems like to be that's an eight pound laker. Seems like to me that uh, the lake trout bite better at night. So it's a good looking dude there. All right. Let's make one more cast. And we're gonna move on to be find a bigger fish. Sweet spots, like I said, seems to be 20 and between 20 and 30. So let's uh, let's see if I can hook one up uh, jiggy. So we're gonna try that. Uh, I'll show you all how that works because there's different methods. You can twitch, jig, stop and go. 
constant, which we've been doing. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can't jig one out. So let me let me let this fall to the desired depth I want it to. We're gonna start out at 30 foot. I uh, take up a little bit of line to get there, but. Now, success over the jigging is whether is how you uh, you know work the stick on the control. It needs to go straight up and straight down, and it will give you a jigging uh, text saying you're doing it right. So, just about where we want to be here. So let's let's try this. <laughs> it's something I'm still trying to learn. So we'll go up and down. Up and down. I haven't had my success with a spoon using this. I'm just get showing y'all how it works. I did catch some on the grub. NJ, did you catch any fish from this morning? NJ was out fishing this morning. It's up and down, Rose. All right, let's roll it up slowly. See if we can get a bite that way. Caught several on large grub, uh, but not a whole lot on spoons up and down fishing. And I got several sizes of spoons. I can throw at them. What I've got on things to be working best on this lake. All right, let's move this boat on down the way. Let me mark a spot. You know, it's like that sometimes. I want to move this train on up here. And as you can see, there's some... See this kind of different colored blue water? That's where I want to go. That's deep water right there. And that's going to be the mouth of the, this river that's up here. No, EJ... Uh, off the boat. Let me stop the boat so you can hear me. No, uh, he is uh, on hospice. Uh, he's had lung cancer in one lung, and the cancer has progressed. Uh, so they're just trying to keep him comfortable. So that's the word on that. Let's get back on the boat here and head on down.
This side may be a little shallow. We're going to try it. Probably a little too close to the bank here. But we'll just turn around and cast off the other side. Water behind me over there is going to be a lot deeper. Ha! Uh, no, I haven't run this boat on the ground yet. Uh, in fact, I drove it up the river. I had to go up river. That was one of the emissions. Uh, you're welcome, NJ. Yes, it is. Uh, anyway, I drove up the river. And uh, there's quite a few rocks up there. I uh, was able to keep it out of the rocks, so... But I'm sure that I'll run into ground sometime. I want to remind everybody about bait shop tonight on at 7. Panfish Nation on at 8. And then Miss Jody's Flathead Challenges tonight at 9 o'clock. I'm going to sit right here and watch. Uh, football and Jody getting chatted a little bit and enjoy the festivities. J Dogs in the house. Hello, J Dog. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. And I'm going to watch Thursday night football tonight and I'm going to be pulling for the bills and for Josh Allen to do good. That way I can gather them fantasy football points up. Back then, I've got two players. Uh, I like to miss him. Right at the boat. Good night. Uh, I've got uh, two players on Buffalo playing tonight. It's on my fantasy team, the wide receiver and Josh Allen. So both of those guys need to get a lot of catches and a lot of touchdowns tonight. Uh, and then I've got a couple of the guys from the Rams. Their tail, one of their tailbacks is playing tonight. So i got three guys that's going to be involved in this football game tonight on my fantasy team, so, uh, back hurt, hurt your back, Jado, yeah, that's, sorry about that, buddy, that ain't no good, hell, I hope it gets treated better. Back trouble will even take the strongest man down. I gotta take it. Mm. I am sorry to hear that. That is not good, buddy. Oof. I have a lot of back pain sitting in the wheelchair a lot. I use a lot of icy hot. <laughs> it helps. Yeah, 
That's a good fish. Ah, uh, he's not all that good. He's just average, Joe. <laughs> NJ, you ought to be shy. Oh, my goodness. He's out there this morning trying to get something caught. I watched, I watched for a long time, NJ. I, I just watched in the background. I had some, I had to order me some clothes today. And do a few, and do a few things, get a few things taken care of before I did stream today. But I, uh, but I did watch. I popped in to say hi and then had to go. I'm going on a cruise, so I thought I might better buy a couple of new pairs of pants and a new shirt. I didn't want them people taking up a collection on that boat thinking, look at that poor vagrant. He needs a, he needs a collection taken up. And tonight, now listen to this. I'm having steak and fried catfish. Let me say that again in case you missed it. Steak and fried catfish. Come on, 6 o'clock. Me and the wife order out on Thursday night, and I told her last night I wanted catfish. Yeah, it sounds good, don't it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, what could be better? Fried catfish, steak, and football. That is out of this sight. So good. We're going to work our way up around this bend up here to the left of me over here. Which will be y'all's left as well. Uh, it's a river up here. I'll hit the mouth of that river a few times and then we're going to work our way on up around that bend up there in front of us. They're going to add a lot of stuff to this game. They're going to add a lot of waterways, whole new reserve. I expect European fish. Uh, I expect uh, probably carp. And, uh, I'm hoping hot and heavy for blue cats and flatheads. I don't know if we'll get them, but I'm hoping for it. Looking for a whole section of Bottom fishing equipment and everything. No. There we go. Got back out in the deeper water. Not very big. Pike, 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 pike. Okay, so now let's talk about the way these fish are ranked. Uh, that's a small fish. He's just a bronze, right? They go all the way up to bronze to diamond. Diamond being the best and the biggest uh, fish in the game. Uh, we do not have a way to uh, have a trophy room for our fish like we do in the hunter called the wild. 
I'm hoping that that's something they add later. That is something they added later. In Call of the Wild was the uh, Trophy Lodge. I think a nice uh, scrapbook uh, pictures would be a nice thing to put in here instead of maybe a lodge where we'll hug stuff on the mount uh, as a change. I know some people may want the lodge, but I'm kind of open for the picture book. But the lodge would be great too. All right, let's move on down. Ah, let's make one more throw. So, one of the things that I noticed when I first started playing this, and at first I, I have to admit I thought it was a glitch. Uh, but I realized that it wasn't a glitch. Uh, when you throw that lure out there and you start bringing it back, you'll get a strike. When you go to set the hook, it won't set. It's like it won't jerk the rod back. I'm thinking, okay, there's a glitch. I got to fix that. But in actuality, it's not a glitch. After talking to some uh, the gamer folks that I talk to, actually, it's a short strike. Now, fisherman knows what a short strike is. So it's you know the the ones that don't, it's fish hits the lure but doesn't get hooked up. But you still feel the hit. So, at first I thought, well, that's a glitch, but actually it's not. It's a feature of the game. Which I didn't know. And I'll be the first one to tell you, I learned a lot of stuff about these games from, from people that I communicate with that are gamers and watching their videos. Lisa, you, uh, Aaron, sit down. see there? That just happened right there. Now, he may come back. And I got him that time. Okay, well, that worked out good. I told you all about it at the right time. Not small mouth. And you see that's a gold. Uh, see, so we got a little water in the boat. It pops up every now and then. I know somebody that irritates. I won't call no names, but if you think about it, you probably figure it out. <laughs> I'll go over at the mouth here and throw up a few times. This boat's a little, a little wonky. It takes a little getting used to driving it. Okay. So, this is the mouth of the river, and I'm going to show you all that river. We, we, talked about it a little bit earlier, but uh, this is all fishable area up here. Uh, actually, we're not quite at the mouth yet. We're only just on a point. But I'm going to work. I'm going to work all the way down here to this mouth, and you can go all the way up this river. And I've been up in in the river on top. I've been up this way. Uh, this is a windy dude here. I had to go up there and catch a, a yellow perch. You can feel all that's fishable stuff. Yeah, she knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, I see. I seen Aaron throw up a picture of... Uh, a plate of food that you fixed the other day, Lisa, looked really good. All right, we're gonna let that lure settle. Now, with most fishing games that come out today, 
The spoon is always a good lure. This game is no different. I'm not saying that's the only lure you need, but we've caught lake trout, pike, and bass on the same lure. I get a bad habit sometimes I pay attention to what I'm doing. I don't have the lure deep enough. I hope you catch one in the bar, NJ. We all have days where they don't bite. But it's still hard to swallow sometimes when you can't catch them. But that makes you want to get ready and go out again to redeem yourself. Hello, Alvin. I'm using OBS to broadcast this live today. That's what I usually use. And, uh, I did an update to OBS, and one of the things they did was make the text bigger. Thank God. <laughs> and the chat is a little bit bigger writing, too. I'm proud to see that. All right, right here at the boat. He's not very big. Seven pounds. Now, if I caught a seven pound pike in real life, I'd be thrilled with that. Make a few casts right here. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. I just flipped it out there that time. I'm going to try that jigging technique one more time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll try that jigging thing one more time. about the same. We about there now to the right depth. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna start giving her a jig here and see what we can get hit. I caught a big one the other day like this. It wasn't on this lure but it was on the extra large grub. Reckon them hogs, I'd give them hogs a heart attack before I got them there. Everybody, everybody seems to really enjoy that trucking game. 
I figured when I bought it, it was going to be something y'all like. I think y'all like to see me run off the road is what it is. I see they have released a, a new game. Uh, and I haven't looked at it a whole lot. I, I seen uh, stuff from the Wobbly Captain, who's another gamer, over in the UK. I think it's going to be like a Crash Up Derby game. Slash racing game. I got to check it out. It looks fun. We are going to get back on the way of the hunter. Uh, do some streams on it. I've been kind of leaving it alone. They had some glitches and some things going on they need to work on. Game crashes. They did an update trying to fix a few things and end up making the game crash. So we're gonna, we're definitely gonna get back on the way of the hunter. So, uh, streams. Oh, yeah, the crash up game. Yeah, I, yeah, you're right. I would be. You know how they used to have the old crash up derbies uh, things, and uh, uh, that's what the game's based around. I didn't do too too bad the other day. I, I had a few mishaps, but. I'm getting better at it. I tell you what's been difficult, and I ain't gonna lie. It's shooting them dad burn ducks. I have really had, I mean, I have probably practiced hunting them ducks six, seven hours a day. And it has been a, uh, It's been a it's been a uh, up and down experience, but I, I think I just about got it figured out now. I went back to look at an old stream I did uh, on duck hunt. God, I'm a bad. That was that was the most pitifulest hunting performance I have ever done, and we will I want to do another one to correct that. I think it was, uh, yeah, I can't remember the name of it either. Does the dog come out? No. Uh, he he won't get his dog biscuit if he does that. So, talking about a dog. Uh, you know, that dog is a, is a tracking dog. He don't fetch no ducks. So, I'm over there duck hunting the other day. Clay, just getting in at Ruby River Rage if you need me. Got you down here. That is the warden. So, I'm over there duck hunting the other day. And I need to put a waypoint now. I know where I'm going. And that ducks are flying, you know, circling me and, and they're flying off. And I'm like, what in the world is going on with that? So, 
Uh, I couldn't figure out why they were doing that. I said the blind. The dog. Uh, there's my phone, of course. The dog, sorry about that. Was I laid the dog down. He's up walking around. That's what the ducks were seeing. I put him in the kennel. I haven't fished this spot yet, so I don't know what's here. <laughs> yeah, they probably gonna they probably gonna give me a copyright claim on that one these days. I'll have to delete that audio out. I forget to turn that phone off. I'm gonna do a Halloween stream. We're gonna play Dead by Daylight. I have got it on sale. I have the download for the box of fires mod. We're gonna do a Halloween stream sometime. Something totally different than I usually do. Everybody's worried about doing something different on the channel because of the algorithms. It was the music of Halloween. That is my ringtone. So, Everybody's, I get a lot of people will, don't like to do different things on different channels because they're worried about messing up the algorithm. Fish just jumped out of the water up there. I ain't. I'm not too worried about that, so I do this for the fun of it. Certainly not to get one day where I can make any money off of it. I care less about that. It's just not my cup of tea, but so I I don't mind doing different things. The only thing y'all will not see me do is sing it. Good night, Alvin. Where do you live at? It's 106 degrees. Don R. Oh, Don. A hundred six. You must live in Arizona. As you can see, we're losing sunlight. Which is not probably a bad thing for these lake trouts. Good to see you, Don.
Railroad tires on fire. Somebody got some explaining to do on that. Nevada. What Don do now? Don, what you do now? Oh, it's all right, Don. We got plenty of time. I had thought about going live yesterday for a little while. Talk about football. I done that last week. And uh, Ernie was on, so I had some other stuff to take care of. I just said, well, Ernie got him. He, he left him. He earned to keep him entertained. I see that fish jump up out of the water. He needs to jump on this spoon. gonna do real quick before we leave this spot we're gonna throw a crankbait just to see what happens yeah them wildfires bad news so dry in a lot of places that once they get started you can't hardly get them stopped. We're going to change lures real quick. Well, I've been doing a little of both. Uh, I'm casted in, in little jigging. Uh, they don't have trolling in this game yet. I do know that that is probably the best way to catch lake trout. Hopefully they get that. Uh, hopefully they get that feature in here. We'll say art. We're gonna throw a crankbait a while. We're gonna throw this chartreuse crankbait. Just to try. It. I 
I'd like to be able to throw, I hope they add that. That would be a great feature for these lake trout. All right. We've caught a couple of big ones. We've caught a couple of small ones. We're going to throw this three or four times, and if we don't get something, we're going to go. Your fires are <laughs> giving us pretty sunsets. Good at night. Yeah, them fires are bad news. Yeah, there's just no way to stop it when it starts, I mean. Tell y'all a little story about fire. Back in 2003, I was working at a little town in Texas for the police department there. And I was out riding a squad car with some of the officers, and they had a grass fire. Hay better, grass fire, uh, on fire. And it was burning right next to a county road or a farmer market road. And uh, the spoke was so thick, couldn't see five feet in front of you. And we had the road blocked off. This guy on a motorcycle, went right, right around my squad car and went right up the road. You know, of course I hollered at him, he just kept on going, you know how it is. And uh, I had radio ahead, told the car on the other side of the smoke. When that guy comes up there, uh, to uh, take him up to the office so we'll give him a citation. And I heard crash. Well, he had, he went running up through that smoke up there and didn't see that fire truck up there, that grass truck, and run right in the back of it. <laughs> now, it didn't, it didn't hurt him too bad, but he tore up his motorcycle. And I'm sure his insurance company was thrilled with him when he had to pay for the damage on that fire truck. So, moral of the story is, uh, don't be driving through barricades. Let's well, say, uh, Ernie, how are you? They had to take him to the hospital, of course, get him checked out. You know how that is. <clears throat> what time it a year is it for fishing? A 
Are you talking to somebody else or me? You got to clarify. All right. We're gonna we're gonna head on down to mouth here, like I wanted to do. Now this lot be challenging. I can't see nothing. I'm just to run this joke on a rock. I just went by a rock. Uh, this boat needs some lights on. I really can't see what I'm doing, folks. We're going to try it right in here for a while. Good night. You don't want me pulling you behind this boat. Now, can you imagine me pulling somebody on this boat? I know somebody I'd like to pull on this boat. All right. We're going to go back to my spoon because this crankbait has not even had a bite. You be taking your life in your hands, sure enough, me dragging you behind this boat. I ain't never fished the spots. So we're gonna throw. I don't know how deep the water is right here. It's deep enough. There ought to be a laker up here. So anyway, to finish my story is we had they had took him to the hospital and had him checked out. And uh of course he tore his bike up. Run right over fire truck, and uh, we went up to the hospital, and I still wrote him a ticket. Uh, it does not have. It's not programmed to fish by any certain date. The water temperature right here is about 55 degrees. It does tell you that. Hey, we got a fish. I'm messing around over here looking at something else. We about lost him. We still ain't got him yet. Ooh, ah, come on, big boy. Yeah, this is the big one here. I'll be lucky if we get him. He brought out too far on me. I'm gaining some ground on him now. 
I was looking at the cat, and that fish ran off about 80 yards of line. We got him turned. Now, he's going to make another run. I guarantee you that. And when I get him close to the boat, he's going to make another run. I just got to be sure that I don't put too much pressure on him and break him off. It's going to be a laker here. Will he beat the last one? We'll see. Yeah, the rod is a little bendy. I will agree with that. Uh, uh, It does whip back a little bit, and this is supposed to be a, a medium action. I have a heavy action, but I hadn't used it a whole lot yet. There's our fish. Oh yeah, that's a big old laker. That's what I'm talking about. 23 pounds. I sure would like to eat that dude. I hear those fish are delicious. I've never had a lake trout before. I mean, that is one big joke. And the thumbnail I made for this live come off that one of these pictures that I took. So much easier on a computer. One push of a button and you're there. All right, big boy. Let's let you grow up a little bit, see if I can get you to be 30 pounds one of these days. All right, that was a good move. I'll have to remember this spot. It's very deep right here. Yeah, that was one of Aaron's complaints about it. It was the rod was too bendy. Got to realize something. Ninety percent of the people, uh, ninety's probably a little high. There's probably a high percentage of people that played this game that ain't never fished. That ain't even never tied a hook on. Now I know I know ten or twelve gamers that played this game religiously, and they they don't know nothing about fishing. Uh, they hadn't fished a day in their life, and they'll tell you that. So they wouldn't know the difference anyway. Who's going to win the game tonight, Brian B? Curtis! I don't think I can turn the lights on. I hadn't figured that out yet. I think the lamp only turns on at the dock. Let me look at that real quick. <clears throat> okay. There's got to be a button here to turn the lights on. Buffalo, I think you're right. Uh, I picked Buffalo tonight. Friend and I, we do Thursday, Saturday, college football night, Sunday and Monday NFL picks.
There is no light button. Which they need to fix. Because we do need a light. Let me look on this one. Now when you're walking around up there at the campground up there, you got lights. Nope. Isn't that odd? Well, I know, but you know, I mean, uh, Curtis, I, I, I know what you mean, brother, but he got a few good traits, but that Eagle fan part, yeah, that's, that's hard, that's hard for me to swallow. I, that really does, I mean, that, all, that almost ruins him right there. <laughs> I think Buffalo probably will win. I hope Josh Allen has a good night tonight. I've got him on fantasy football. That and uh, Buffalo's, one of Buffalo's receivers. But I think I got two Rams on that. Uh, Managed the team as well, so. So I hope Josh Allen lights it up tonight. See how this looks. I brightened it up a little bit, Don. Y'all be able to see a little better. Hope, maybe. Had to brighten the screen up. They need it. They need to light though. I think that's a little better. Can y'all see that a little bit better now? All right. Well, mission accomplished, guys. We've caught some lake trout. All right, so we're going to do a little quick chat poll. I like to miss him. Yeah, that brightened it up a little bit. Uh, which game do y'all want?
I don't know. Uh, uh, they need a light, though. It looks bright. It brightened it up quite a bit. Uh, all right. So, uh, which game will we play on Tuesday? We can do either the Call of the Wild. Truck driving game or this fishing game. Pick one. And try, and, uh, type it in and I'll try to keep count. It won't be hard to keep count, but. What would y'all like to see? Well, I've never fished for pike, uh, Don. They don't have pike here. 30 foot. Uh, I would think that'd be plenty deep enough to fish for a pike. But I could be wrong about that. Now right here is 20 foot. How deep does pike usually run? That may be why I ain't catching those giants. Try a little stop and go here and see if I can get a little bite. Come on, fish. Well, we're gonna turn and burn here, folks. I'm gonna get a reel in and we fix to make a run. You gotta go catch a diamond. I wish I would catch a diamond. I did kill a diamond duck the other day. We'll see you, Buck. 
Y'all be good. Or you be good. So when I showed y'all the fish earlier, I wasn't thinking that's what's on this lake. Uh, there's the channel catfish, which is not in this lake. The bluegill. The golden trout. The sauger. And the salmon. So There's 12 species in the lake. All right, we're going to move this train. Oh, uh, I'm going to get back up here on the main lake. I don't want to be driving this boat down the river at night. I'm subject to run over something now because I can't see all that great. Good night. 80 feet. Really? Oop. Ooh, I scraped that rock. I scraped the paint off of the end. Good night. I like to run head on into that. Who wants to go for a boat ride in Charlotte? I mean, I scraped that joker. Yeah, please. Lights on this boat. I'll tell you that. I know. That if I ever get to go fishing with any of y'all, ain't nobody let me drive their boat. Let's see what's up here. Hey, we got a little boot light. Looks pretty good. Let's look at the boat. That's what I'm talking about. Let's find the fish. I already lost the internet. Yeah, you know who that is doing that, don't you, Curtis? I mean, Ernie, that's Curtis. He's always talking about you best with the internet. He's probably cutting you forward at the house. I hope I don't lose internet tonight, because if I do, I'm going to be bad. So, uh, I won't watch football games and Jody's show. If I can't do that without no internet. All right, that's a fish. Just a pike, small pike, small pike. Okay, we got about a little time left today, so what I want to do is I'm going to change lures. And, uh, Putting corn out for the deer. We're going to change lures really quick. Take but a second. And I'm going to put a... 
We're gonna change rods all the way around. In fact, I'm gonna unequip this. We're gonna put the big rod on for a while. Big bait casting reel, 44 pound line. We're gonna put a big spoon on. We're gonna go with a heavy spoon for a while, see what happens. Now this rod here is for big fish. Now this is a big bait. I'd otherwise use a number six, this is a one off. So we're gonna try this for a minute, see. We can hook up on this. This is, to date, the biggest rod in the game. And I had to catch a lot of fish to even be able to buy this. So we're gonna, we're gonna give her a whirl. There is live bait in this game with leeches and other stuff to fish with, but I like to lure fish. I will fish with that stuff for catfish and when a mission calls for it. But I'm kind of a lure guy. I always have been somebody that likes to fish with artificial. Uh, and before you ask, yes, I'm too cheap to buy a bait if I don't have to. Ernie, did you hear what I'm having for supper? I'm having a piece of steak and fried catfish with french fries and ranch beans. Basically, the beans are what they call ranch beans. They got jalapenos in them. Oh, man, they're so good. And a big... Dinner roll for soppy. Got to sop up that bean juice, and I gotta tell you something. I'm looking forward to it. Because in order to eat that tonight, I had to really sacrifice today in order to have enough calories to stay on my diet to have that. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be delicious. I don't know if this lure will catch anything in this body of water. We're going to try it. She would like to hook up on this. Peeling potatoes. Yeah, I love potatoes for sale. That and bread. Fat people love bread and potatoes. And I know for sure that I love it. I don't think it's nothing better than a good piece of bread and some potatoes. All right, we're going to make a long cast off the back of this boat. We're going to let that sink. I'd like to hook up right here, but... This is experimental.
you know, speed the reel up just a little bit, do a little bit more of a stop and go. Changing the speed of the retrieve or twitching or jigging, they all work. Come on, fish. Now there's gonna be a body of water on this map somewhere that this big spoon's gonna catch it. It may not be this one, but there's gonna be somewhere. And these fish we've caught today are probably nice fish, but I think there comes the sun back. And we have light. All right, let's go make one more move. Oh, we got light, y'all. Look at that. That's nice. Let's go make one more move up here at this point. We got time for a few more throws. We got daylight. Looks good. Are we losing daylight? You know what that is, don't you? That's a glitch. It went daylight and then went dark again. And now the moon's coming back up. Now look. <laughs> That's, that moon is moving, Jack. Look at that joker. Now there's a glitch I was talking about. I knew that was going to happen. Hello, Buckaroo. I'm down at Emerald Lake for a while. Catch you later. That's an old glitch. They're going to have to fix that. That moon was moving. It done that to me the other day. Got all excited. It's going to be daylight. And it, light come out, and all of a sudden it went dark. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they need to fix that. That 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 is now that's something that is irritates me a little bit because they need to fix that. They need to fix that, and they also need to fix where you can adjust the time. I'm not much of a nighttime video game fisherman. I don't find it, but I'd rather fish in the daytime. So. You can change it. Not, uh, time to call the wild hunter, but you can't change it this. So hopefully they're going to resolve that. Let's hope I get bit one time on this big spoon and see what we can catch. Give y'all a look at this big rig. I can put a lot of leverage on the fish with this big rod reel. 
I think I probably spent six or seven hours getting the money to buy this dude. I bought the other one we was fishing with earlier first. And then use that rod to catch bigger fish to buy this one. That's pretty much the way you have to do it in this game. You have to gradually do it. I hope everybody's had a good week. I hope everybody's enjoyed the stream today. I've enjoyed seeing y'all talking with you, visiting with you. I look forward to this on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We've got some couple of new subscribers that joined the channel yesterday. I know there's a lot of people that, like I said, watch in the background. I want to give a, a shout out to Valerie Irwin. Uh, she sent me a message the other day after the, or messaged me in chat about the hunting stream I did last week. It was a good hunt. So, appreciate you, Valerie. Appreciate everybody that does watch in the background. I know that life is busy sometimes. In the daytime, we just can't always sit around and chat like we want to, but I'm grateful for folks that can come in and grateful for y'all that can watch on the side. Thank you, thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Big Slim. What's going on, Big Slim? Dad gum glasses bother me all the time. I twitch my nose around. It looks like I'm having a fit, but. I've learned to adjust my glasses with my face because my hand won't bend my face to adjust my glasses. Habit, I catch myself doing it and don't even realize I'm even doing it. Well, where'd the fish go? See, they don't always bite on the game either. Oh, Lord, here goes the dog. There goes the dog. Oh, uh, yes, I hear her. You don't have to bark. Everything's just fine. The guard dog is on the prowl. All 11 pounds of her. Well, I'm giving her a workout, folks, but I ain't getting no nibble. I'm not getting a nibble. Come on, something hit it right at the boat. Come on now. I think the size of the fish in this lake is probably... Just right for the other lure. This one's a little bit big, I think. I hadn't had much success on this bigger one. I've tried different colors, too. So. Uh, a tip for anybody watching. Uh, Bear Lake, if you go fish for bass, <coughs> use spinners and worms and fish around yellow flowers along shoreline. 
That's a good spot to find bass. <clears throat> that is a good spot to find bass. That is going to conclude Thursday's live stream today. I enjoyed it. As always, we have to go. Wife has to go pick up the car. It's been in the shop. She got run off the road the other day by some clown and tore up the wheel. Lost the hubcap. Didn't blow the tire out, but did tear up. The wheel curve bit it bent the, bent the wheel a little bit I went out there and looked at it decided better take it in have it fixed and I was right was we'll knocked it out of alignment somebody on the cell phone I ain't paying attention where they going so I got to get gone so I can get things adjusted so she can go pick up the car and we can eat dinner later on so I want to thank y'all for joining me today uh, you have a good night, too, Lisa. I'm sure I'll see you somewhere tonight. Chat somewhere or another. Y'all have a good night. Enjoyed it. Hope you have a good uh, rest of the day and a good weekend. And I'll see y'all on Tuesday. And if somebody's got something they want me to play, all you got to do is send me a message. Uh, I noticed last week that Dale Hayslip rolled out there in the chat after I'd already uh, went down and had the screen on thank you for watching if you'd like the truck driving game so we did that on Tuesday y'all be good Alvin Lisa Ernie Buck Buck's already gone but Curtis we'll see you brother everybody else has been in stop by and all the people in the background God bless you and I'll see you on Tuesday on real and virtual outdoors <laughs>